Chris, thanks for joining me today. Thanks, good to be here. Let's talk about Lexaria. What's new, what's happening? Oh my God. Uh, well, we just were awarded a new patent by the US Patent Office on December 12th. And that has been a really transformative event for us. Okay, what is it? Added the a lot cover? of value. Patent covers our, our drug delivery platform. Mm. And we had filed it applying for the ability to deliver cannabinoids, non-psychoactive and psychoactive. Well, we received that patent, we were really happy. Hmm. But to our surprise, the US Patent Office also granted us future patent applications that were in queue. And so our drug uh, delivery technology is now patented for the delivery of cannabinoids, but also fat soluble vitamins, also for yeah. NSAIDs, non-steroidal anti-inflammatories. Right. So that's stuff you have in your bathroom like ibuprofen or aspirin. Right. And also the big one for nicotine. Huh. So we actually have the IP in-house now to deliver any of those molecules through the mouth, pill, beverage, or food. Wow, that's impressive. Um, and so what is, the, what is the biggest revenue generator within that portfolio of, of, of options? The biggest one eventually is going to be nicotine. It's a $700 billion annual industry around the world. It's one of the biggest industries there are. Hmm. Uh, which you is know, about is to quit smoking. To quit smoking or to get your nicotine fix without harming your lungs. Hmm. So imagine the idea that if you're sitting in your office on Bay Street uh, and you see people running down to the street level to have their smoke break, right, right. instead of that, they could have nicotine in a cup of coffee. Huh. Much safer, much more healthy, and more cost effective. Interesting. Nicotine is, is uh, just addictive though, isn't it? Well, it is, but small amounts of nicotine are actually being found to be beneficial in Alzheimer's treatments, oh, really? for example. Yeah, as a matter of fact. Going to start smoking one <laughs> <laughs> Nicotine by itself, in small quantities, is not dangerous. Mm -hmm. It is the delivery modality that causes all of the distress. Is that right? Yeah. Okay, so now you've mitigated that problem. So tell me, what is the essential difference between your delivery system versus traditional ones? Oh, well, it's, it's brand new. I mean, it's just on patent. You've heard of things like nanotech, mm -hmm. lipospheres, sure. liposomal delivery, great technologies, and they really do have a place. Uh, they're a little old. Most of those are 10 to 20, in some cases even 25 years old, and they're coming off of patent, mm. which means they're becoming generic. Ours is sort of representing the next wave of, of delivery modality. Okay. Um, and the nanotechs and the other technologies that we compete against can't offer all the benefits that we do, which is we improve the taste of things, we improve the rapidity with which they reach your bloodstream because we avoid first pass liver metabolism, mm. and we get a lot more of it across the intestinal wall. In lab tests, we've had numbers as high as 500% more okay. crossing the intestine. So what's going on at the molecular level? Well, we use oleic acid, which is a component of a long chain fatty acid. Mm -hmm. So oleic acid is something that you find in sunflower oil, for right. example. And uh, oleic acids are one of the only things a human can uh, uh, ingest that will not normally be shunted into the liver. Instead, as it crosses the intestinal wall at a molecular level, it is shunted into the uh, lymphatic lacteals and, and drops into the lymphatic circulatory system. Hmm. If you think about upstream, downstream, it's a way of saying when we have an API, an active pharmaceutical ingredient, we're able to put it into the bloodstream downstream of the liver instead of in front of it where it has to have that metabolite. Okay, interesting. So what's the status of your sort of financial condition in reference to this new patents and everything? Is there, are there people uptaking this? Are you licensing it? What's going on? Yeah, it's just starting. It's been pretty uh, incredible. So we received our very first patent uh, just over a year ago for non-psychoactive cannabinoids. Mm. We've signed up our first uh, Colorado uh, cannabis company that is using our technology now in Colorado. We're in negotiations and discussions with over 20 companies around uh, Mexico, United States and Canada right now to mm. adopt our technology. Different applications for different people um, and in fact uh, later this month, late in January, we're going to be starting our first lab work uh, with uh, lab rats on nicotine absorption. Oh, okay. So we're, what we're trying to do is open up new markets for some of these other vertical sectors mm. and not only be concentrated on cannabis, although cannabis is the immediate uh, sure. win for us. So is 2018 the year of profitability for Lexaria? Maybe. Maybe. Um, I think by the end of the year we should be operating at a cash flow positive basis. Mm -hmm. That is our internal expectation. 
Um, and you have to realize our business model is a little different. We don't sell a product. Right. We sell knowledge. So if you owned a licensed producer, we would come in, we would train you and your staff on how to use our process to greater profit for your products that are being sold and greater effectiveness for your customers. And we take a royalty stream. So we're more like one of those mining companies that mines royalty streams uh -huh. rather than rock. That's really more representative of Lexaria. Well, elaborate on your revenue stream. How does that work? Absolutely. So we typically grant a license to our technology to, say, a licensed producer. And what we do, it's all for ingestibles and oral delivery. So we, we have separated uh, edible uh, foods and pills into six subcategories. So beverages, for example, are different than, say, pills and capsules. Mm -hmm. We generate usually five licenses in each of those six categories per geographic territory. So for example, Canada, five times six, one territory, that's 30 revenue streams in Canada. Mm -hmm. In a place like the United States though, where there's 50 different states and each has the ability to have their own uh, regulatory jurisdiction, that's 50 times 30 right. or 1,500 revenue streams coming out of the United States to use our technology, in theory. Wow, so it snowballs. Snowballs very quickly, and our technology is licensable around the world. We have patents pending in 42 countries right now. Huh. Wow, that's great. Well, let's leave it there for now, Chris. Uh, we'll come back to you in a quarter's time. Sounds like you're making great progress. Thanks for joining me today. Thanks so much, James.